President Trump wants to spread a message of peace while in Davos. President Trump is again on an overseas trip rubbing shoulders with other world leaders and clarifying his vision for America. President Trump ran on a platform of making America great which was a not-so-veiled slight toward his predecessor. Many conservatives considered the Obama administration to have pushed America back in the eyes of many nations around the world. His desire to make sure that America lost its appearance of being an overpowering force, left us in somewhat of a compromised position. The president's stance on international policy has been simple, put America first, and help out other people second. Since it's his job to make sure that Americans are looked after, it's also his job to make sure the rest of the world knows that we won't be hurting ourselves to bow to international political pressure. The president's trip to Switzerland has been no exception, and the South China Morning Post reports that the first impression he's left on the country has been an obvious one. Armed with his America First philosophy, U.S. President Donald Trump arrived in Switzerland on Thursday to tout his economic agenda and lure foreign investment at a global summit that stresses free trade and international cooperation. We are very happy to be here, Trump said as he arrived at the World Economic Forum. The United States is doing very well, and will continue to do well and this will be a very exciting two days. He said he was bringing a message of peace and prosperity to the gathering of world leaders, business executives and celebrities. Asked whether he would be supported at the forum, Trump said, I already am. You take a look. He had apparently not seen reports of the massive banner reading Trump not welcome. That had been hung on the side of a mountain by Swiss activist group Campax. Trump then went into a meeting with UK Prime Minister Theresa May who is angling for trade deals for her country when Brexit takes place next year. He said that the discussions would lead to a tremendous increase in trade with Britain, while May said the two countries were on the same wavelength in every respect. While the president is expected to declare that the United States is open for business, the protectionist-leaning president's attendance at the annual gathering for free trade-loving political and business elites has raised eyebrows. His decision to sign new tariffs boosting American manufacturers this week has prompted fresh concerns about his nationalist tendencies. I'm going to Davos right now to get people to invest in the United States, Trump said on Wednesday before the overnight flight to Europe. I'm going to say, come into the United States. You have plenty of money. But I don't think I have to go, because they're coming, they're coming at a very fast clip. In a tweet sent before departing the White House Trump said, Our economy is now booming and with all I am doing, will only get better, our country is finally winning again. U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Nutchen got the Davos ahead of Trump and insisted Wednesday that the United States supports free trade. America first does mean working with the rest of the world, said Nutchen, who is leading the largest U.S. delegation ever to attend the exclusive gathering. It just means that President Trump is looking out for American workers and American interests, no different than he expects other leaders would look out for their own. U.S. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross argued that new U.S. tariffs on imported solar energy components and large washing machines are meant to deal with inappropriate behavior by other countries and are not protectionist. Still, Ross conceded that China could respond by imposing its own tariffs on U.S. products. As he signed the tariffs, Trump said he was heading to Davos to talk about investing in the United States again. We'll soon be heading to Davos, Switzerland, to tell the world how great America is and is doing. Our economy is now booming and with all I am doing, will only get better. Our country is finally winning again. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, January 25, 2018 it seems obvious that a president would be looking out for his country and not others while overseas, but in recent years the waters have gotten extremely muddied by the idea that helping the world would help America. Perhaps in some cases that is true, but in the case of America, we tend to be treated like the wealthy uncle who everyone can just ask for things from, and give nothing in return. Everyone wanted to know what was on the POTUS's mind when he landed, and here's what he had to say. 
Upon arriving at Hash Davos for the World Economic Forum, President Trump is asked, What's your message to the world? Peace, he replies. Hash Wef 2018 web link. Josh Kaplan, at Josh Kaplan, January 25, 2018. Didn't get it? Once again for the cheap seats in the back. In Davos, Trump says his message for the world is peace and prosperity. Pick.twitter.com web link. Aaron Rupra, at Tat Rupra, January 25, 2018. If seeing is believing, then you'd better find that the president doesn't plan to back off of his America first plan. His goal is to make our country better than ever. Whether you agree with him or not, he's charted a path and is marching forward. We all will make America great again.